How to download mods in Worldbox. First go to the settings, then hit settings again, then scroll down to experimental mode. Make sure it's checked on. After you got that checked on, you can exit out of the game. You want to come to this website where the link will be in the description and download the latest version of NCMS. Now find the photo that you just downloaded and find the ncms.dll file. We're going to unzip that file into our Worldbox folder. There's a couple ways to find your Worldbox folder. What we did was we went to the file explorer and searched for Worldbox and it should come up. Here you go. Another way is to go into Steam, find your Roblox game, right click it, go to properties, and then go to local files, and then just click on browse. And there you go, it should come up. Once your Roblox folder is open, go into Roblox data, then go into streaming assets and open up the mods folder. And this is the location you wanna move the ncms.dll. You wanna unzip it here. After unzipping the folder, I can just drag the ncms file into our location. And it's really as simple as that. If you installed NCMS correctly, you'll see this icon appear underneath the Steam icon. And that's how you know if you installed it correctly. If we open up our Roblox folder again, we'll see now that there's a mods folder with the two sample mods that it was included. Every time that we download a mod now, all we have to do is unzip it into this folder, relaunch the game, and the mod should be good to go as long as it's the right version. Let me download a mod as an example so you guys can see how it's done. Here's the website you'll be downloading most of your mods off of. Do this at your own risk. Just be careful. Let's download extra traits as an example. So we clicked on it. You want to scroll down until you find the manual download. It was updated five days ago, so it's updated for the current patch. That's a good way to check it. If it was from 11 months ago, let's say, it might not be updated for the current patch, so you might not be able to download that mod. This one should be fine. Let's download it. Once you got it downloaded, open it up. Make sure you unzip it. And then this file is the file that you want to drag into your mods folder. That new mods folder that was created, you just find that again. Here it is. So we're just going to drag that in and launch the game. Here's the game launched. If we did it correctly, we should have many more extra traits. And here you go, we have all of these extra traits from the mod.